All right, she was on the phone. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you, anointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two. Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. 
Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Did you do 
something about me. He says, no. So what are you talking about? About following commandments and how important is that to be a sinner? And, and he's, so the pastor looks at him and says, like, I told you so. I told you so. It's probably something which you obsess with. So, the love of Christ in us, right? You know, usually, when we talk about it, it's very easy on this outside level. Like, you know, being volunteer somewhere and do something. And, you know, the repeating thing of, you know, I want to see the Christ in you and, you know, the love of God in you, and on and on and on. But Jesus tells them, if you follow my commandments, then you're my friends. Then you will be in my love if you follow my commandments. How many times we forget about it? You know, we want that vision of loving and merciful God. But we not necessarily want to do anything about it. We forgot that, you know, the relationship goes two ways. Look how Jesus addresses those who are next to him. And, you know, especially in the U.S. with, with the history, um, with the slavery. You know, he tells them, I don't, I don't call you slaves anymore. It's not that I own you. And then you blindly follow what I tell you to do. You're my friends, I ask you to do something. And I ask you to follow. It's freely given and it's open. And you know, when you look at how uh, today we celebrate St. Matthias, um, the 13th apostle, who replaces Judas. And he's one of the followers of Jesus. He's not the first of the chosen one. And he's not going to get angry or envious. He still follows. And he still comes to the point where he is going to give his life for the faith. A friend of Jesus. A man who follow commandments. We are called to evangelize. We're called to be those apostles of this day. But in order to do so, we have to follow his commandments first. In order not to give the false commandment, but remain the friends of Jesus.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work you've given the planets, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine and work you've given the planets, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all of his holy church. Receive the Lord the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for Christ our Lord. Pray and build your church to stand firm on the stony foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages of ending, with all the hosts of angels who sing to you with all our hearts, cry out as we claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new hope, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave things broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, when the supper was sounded, he took the child's once for giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and drink from it, for this is the child's of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be brought for you and for many for forgiveness and sins. Notice in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. But for us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, to bring the fly and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and I bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our apostolic administrator. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and to the blessed Virgin Mary, Father God, was St. Joseph her spouse, the blessed apostles, the St. Matthias, and all the saints who have you for all the ages. We may marry to be co-cursed with our life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God of my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit of glory in others yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us say your 
man, a former Iranian teacher, we learn to say, On the phone. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. In my call, the archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection. 
protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power 